Oh, Miss Stanley, I've been meaning to speak with you. Time is money, Miss Stanley. Please see to it that your department's productivity problems are fixed immediately. Otherwise, the next time we speak, I'll be sending you to the unemployment. Miss Briggs, Miss Starla Briggs, report to my office. Yes, Mrs. Stanley? Recently, it's come to my attention that you've been slacking off and missing deadlines. Well, you see, what happened was... Frankly, Miss Briggs, I don't care. The next time it happens, it's your job. Understood? Understood. Now what is it, Starla? She just doesn't know when enough's enough. What could she have possibly done to get you all worked up? You just got home. I got a call at work today. I fell behind fixing her mess. I'm so sorry, Mama. I don't want to hear it, Andrea. If you were really sorry, you wouldn't get in trouble at school. Go to your room. You're grounded. But that's not... Do what your mom said and go to your room. Fine. I don't have time to deal with all this, especially not at work. Tell Andrea to get some common sense or next time, you can clean up for that. Both be reporting for duty. Sorry I'm late. I have to step out. Just don't let there be a next time, okay? I just need you to take out the trash and do the dishes. You're a good worker. You're fine. Just keep your chin up.